Now let's suppose we have some vector v, maybe different from this one, any old vector, and another vector w. How could we add the vectors v and w? Now I'm just talking about geometrically, how would you draw the vector for v plus w? It's real easy to calculate the vector v plus w. We're not going to talk about that right now, but once you've got this, that becomes extremely easy. Uh, okay, so take my word for that, we'll see that. Um, but if you got v and w, what do we mean by the vector v plus w? It just means this. We'll start from some initial point and we'll draw the vector v. Okay, maybe I did that all right. And then from the terminal point of v, we draw the vector w. So we start from some initial point, we do v first, and then we do w. And then the vector v plus w goes from the initial point of v to the terminal point of w. So here's our vector v plus w. Now if you draw these vectors accurately, if you did, if you started at the initial point and did w first and then v, you would end up at the same point and you would end up with the vector w plus v going from here to here and it would be the same as this vector. Now if you understand that, that's great. If you don't, we'll talk about it more slowly later. Um, so this proves that when you add vectors, it doesn't matter in what order you add them, meaning that vector addition is commutative. Okay, well, now what do we mean maybe by the vector 2v? Well, 2v would be the same as v plus v, wouldn't it? So that means that we could do the vector v. We could start here and draw the vector v. And then draw the vector v again from the terminal point of v. I don't think I got those quite right. Not sure the angle's right, and I'm not sure the lengths are the same, but you know what I'm what I mean, or what I think I mean. Okay, so that gives you the vector 2v. So I can draw that right on top of the two vectors v. Well, that should make some sense. Now, 2v is twice as long as v, but it's in the same direction. Because, of course, if I have a vector, start at an initial point and draw v, and then from there, uh, terminal point, draw another v, I haven't changed my direction, but my vector is going to be twice as long. Now, what about negative 3w? Well, that's like negative w plus negative w plus negative w. What do I mean by negative w? Well, think about it. If I wanted to do the negative of the vector 3, 6, it would make sense to say, well, that should be negative 3, negative 6. Well, of course, negative 3 would mean my x component is in the negative direction, and negative 6 would mean my y component is in the negative direction, and that would reverse the direction of my v vector. Again, you don't have to totally understand that. I'm not going to test you on that with just that comment. I will develop it a little more thoroughly, but if you really understand it, then you're that far ahead. Okay, so <coughs> the negative is going to make a vector, it's going to reverse the direction of a vector without changing its length. So I could do negative w and negative w and negative w, giving me the vector. negative 3w. And now it's not going to come as any surprise to you that if I wanted to do 2v plus negative 3w, I would just have to move the initial point of my negative 3w here, and wherever that vector ends up is the terminal point if this is the initial point. 
So I go from here over to here. Uh, and, you know, that's just hand waving and pointing. You might not totally understand that, but that's what it is, and it's really pretty simple once you draw a few of these things. Now, there's a lot more uh, to what we could draw, and we will be doing that fairly soon, uh, but those are some of the basics.